Hello everyone and welcome back to Coloring with Haley. It's everyone's favorite time of the month finished pages for April. So let's get right into it. I colored a page out of Colored Caramel's Kawaii Galaxy because I wanted to color something very very simple and these books are good for that. So I did this popcorn page like Popcorn Planet. And yeah, I just, this is a very simple page. That's all I wanted was just to color something really, really simple. There's not anything on here except marker and that's it. And yeah, like I said, these books are really good for that. Now, all these books now have a border around the images, I'm pretty sure. They re-released them with borders because some of them, here, let me like show you the page right before it. You can see it kind of goes off the page. I know some people don't like that, so. That is something I've noticed that they've done, and I'm tempted to rebuy some of the books because of that, but I'm not really, I don't know, I'm not really sure. I just use these as like, these are just simple books that I color in when I want to do something simple and quick and I just want to put some color on the page, so it's like, do I really care that much? I don't know. I do prefer a border around the pages, but I can't make up my mind with these. So, I guess we'll see. Who knows? I might end up rebuying some of them. So, next we have Dazzling Animals Mosaics Color by Numbers, a book I've been working to finish. And I have just four pages left in here. So, we'll see how many I get done in May since I'm going to be gone. But I'm hoping I can get it finished. And first up, this is a bald eagle, and um, I couldn't tell what this was. I mean, I finished the page, and this just did not look like anything at all to me. It, it, on camera, it's like very obviously a bald eagle, but in person, I don't know. It just didn't look like anything to me. Uh, and so I asked Doug what this was supposed to be, and he was like, it's a eagle, duh. But I couldn't see it. I don't know. I, I kept thinking that this was like a squirrel. It was the squirrel's face and its tail and then maybe it was on some kind of weird tree. But yeah, in person, I don't see this one at all. But on camera, it's like, it's obvious it's a bald eagle. And then we have this page from the cover with the two orcas. This one turned out really nice. I really like this page a lot. And I do like how these, all these pages here from the cover, these weren't the first four pages. Uh, Jennifer Rowling kind of put them in here a bit randomly. So I do like that. The first four pages weren't immediately what you were going to uh, color, just kind of dispersed randomly. So it's a surprise and I do like that. But yeah, this was probably my favorite one for this month over the Eagle just because I knew what this was right away. I didn't have to stare at it for too long. Yes, just four pages left. Can you believe it? It's been quite the adventure to color in, but I've been loving it. So I'll probably pick up her landscape one after I finish this one. Doesn't she have another one out now? I think that is like art, like famous paintings and stuff. So I don't know, might do that one too, but I'm definitely gonna do landscape next. So next up I have color by colors. Women's World by Kira Shersneva. I prefer the color by colors of these, but it kind of seems like she has stopped doing these and went back to working with Sun Life Drawing, so a little bit disappointed. I was hoping that the summer one that she did was going to come out in color by colors, but I guess maybe not. So for this month, um, this was the Ukrainian girl. Here we go. I know that the sunflowers are like a symbol for the Ukraine, and I'm guessing that the way she's dressed has got to be traditional Ukrainian clothing. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think Kira Shersneva lives in or near the Ukraine. I, I, I think I've heard that before, so I guess that might be why she hasn't put out any new books for a while, but I believe I've heard that. So yeah, this one turned out great as always, just using my Sharpies and Bic markers on this page. Liked this one quite a bit more than some of the other ones I've done recently since it actually kind of had, you know, like a little bit of a background going on. Some of the other ones have just been really kind of plain and solid. Definitely prefer when they have a background. 
Next, we have a matchstick mouse, and I did two pages out of here. This one was a buddy color with Judith, because we are trying to complete this book. So these are just pretty much simple, straight colored. I laid down some markers, however, I did use a white Posca pin for the rain here outside the window, and the whiskers on the mouse. And then we have this page back here that I did by myself of the little owl. I think he's supposed to be an owl, right? In the sunflower field. This one was just a nice colorful one. Kind of bright and summertime, really. A little more than spring, but I, I do really like how this one turned out. A very simple page. There's nothing on this one. No paint, no sparkles, nothing. Just another simple page that I felt like coloring. And I have a lot to go in this book before I finish it. It's not anywhere near being finished, but I am enjoying coloring it a lot. It just fell down. That is what you heard. Let me uh, pick it back up. Hold on. Well, it, uh, it fell down from where I sat it on the shelf. That is what you heard in the background. Sorry about that there. All right, so next I colored in 50 Easter miniatures. That's my dog sneezing now. Everybody's making noise now. Uh, because it was Easter this month, so I wanted to do a few Easter pages. So first I did this one with the little babies in the Easter eggs. And this one actually doesn't have any paint or gel pen on either. Can you believe that? I usually put that on all of these pages, but not this one. And I used my pastel Ohuhu markers on this page. And I did do a little bit of outlining on the animals themselves, but not the Easter eggs. So that was just a fun, simple one. And then I did this one also with the bunnies and the Easter eggs. And this one I did outlining on everything except the eggs. Now this one does have some of the gel pen, as you can see on the bow there. And this again was all with the pastel Ohuhu markers. I really like using the pastel ones in this Easter book because some of the images are very spring themed. So it seems appropriate to me. Uh, I'm gonna continue working this book because there are just some spring themed pages in here. So you will see this again next month. Not done with it yet. I do like it more than her um, spring miniatures book. Now I did work also in prehistoric miniatures because she had an Easter page in here and I did another page that I thought could kind of be Easter themed. So this was the page that I thought this could be Easter if you wanted it to. Similar to the other page that I did with the three babies and the eggs, but this time they're all dinosaurs. And again, only using my pastel markers on here and outlining the dinosaurs with the water-based markers. But this one has a lot of glitter on it on the uh, eggshells. And then some gel pen highlights on the dinosaurs themselves. This is definitely my favorite book that she's done, but I just really, really like dinosaurs, and I always have. So this one's a lot of fun. I tried to just use as many different colors as I could because the pastel set's not very big. Hold on. How many is it? 48? Yeah. It's so, it's not very big, and a lot of those are kind of grays and browns, so I tried to use as many of the actual, like, color colors as I could. And I think I'm happy with how it turned out. So next is the actual Easter themed page that she's got back here with this dinosaur collecting Easter eggs. I think this is one of the very first pages I colored this month. And I used mostly pastel colors on here. That's when I didn't limit myself just to the pastel colors, but I mostly used them. And as you can see, I did the water-based markers for the outlining, highlights with white gel pen, and Yes, there is marker and gel pen on the eggs, and the eggs over here in this little guy's basket, too. 
And I used a Posca paint pen to do the little dragonfly's wings, as you can see there. They're in green. But yeah, I had a lot of fun doing these kind of Easter themed pages. I knew I knew I want to do this page out of the book for Easter because this is probably this one might be one of her books that I would want to finish. However, 50 pages is a lot to finish. That's quite huge and she has so many books that I like coloring in. So it's kind of quite the task, I think. So up next I have two of the Eclipse art books, AJ Quinnell. I have the only two that I own, Pets in Color. And let's see, I did this hamster, which at first I did not know what it was. Um, I thought it was, I, I, I could make out the head here, like before I colored it in. And so I thought it was kind of a cat because it had pointy ears, but no, it is clearly a hamster. So here it is. And there are a few spaces that had white in them back here that seemed like uh, they were supposed to be left white. And there was one randomly over here on the wheel. And that one just didn't look right to me. Uh, at least over here where there's quite a few of them, it kind of fits the pattern a little more. But when there was just one here randomly, I, I think that might have just been a misprint in my book. So I picked um, one of the colors that was already in the wheel and just filled that in because it didn't look right to me. I, I don't know. Maybe it was supposed to be, but... I think it was a misprint in mine. It just did not look right at all. It can have white. Um, it does say back here, like, blank spaces are white. And it didn't necessarily list that on the other side for the colors for this page, but I don't know. It looked weird there, so I filled it in. But that's the thing with your color by number books. You can kind of do whatever you want, and you don't even have to follow the key if you don't want to. Uh, however, I did, because I, again, I thought this was a cat, so clearly I can't tell what they really are. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's definitely a hamster now. I thought it was a cat. And I've been working in Asian animals. That's another one that I'd like to finish, because I really like the style of this one with the thicker lines. It almost kind of seems like, what is it? Like the stained glass, that's what it is. Yeah, it almost kind of seems like a, a stained glass thing with these much thicker black lines. So I did this red panda page. Here we go, because I was complaining about not seeing many pages with yellow in it. And this barely has any yellow, just right there on the face. But I did pick one that has yellow. And I saw a lot of people do this page this month. I don't know if... Um, there was a group buddy color for this that I missed that someone was hosting or if everyone just decided to color this red panda page in April. But I did too. And I think it turned out very cute. I kind of like just randomly pick pages in here, not going in order or anything. I'll just flip to a page and be like, yeah, that looks, that looks good. This one you can definitely tell, I think, what the animals are without having to color it in. So sometimes I base it on that too. Um, you know, I'm like, oh, I do want to color a red panda, so let's find a red panda page, or things like that. But yeah, this one turned out really nice. Really like the colors in this one. And then I did this camel toward the beginning of the month. Um, which you would think that a camel would have a lot of yellow on it, but it did not have any at all. The color that you're seeing there is cream. It kind of shows up a little more yellow on my camera, but... I do like how this camel turned out, although I'm a little bit confused as to why he seems to be on grass here. I think of them as more of a desert animal. But I don't know, maybe maybe they do live in like grassy areas. I, I mean, I know people here in the United States keep them as pets, but like in the wild, I, I don't know. I think of them as being a desert animal. However, I do like how this camel turned out. Very colorful. In general, I've been enjoying all of the pages in here. I think they all turn out really nice and colorful. I think that uh, AJ Quinnell is very good at picking the colors that go together well on a page. You know, I see some people complain about, like, the Jade Summer color by number mandalas. They're like, the colors don't really go together. They're kind of ugly. I don't think that any of these pages turn out ugly. I think these all look really good. And that is important to me with color by numbers that the colors 
you know, they look nice together. It's not an ugly finished picture. So, finally, I have Whimsy Girls Around the World, Hannah Lynn, and this page took me forever. This page took me, like, two and a half hours to do. This is the Japanese girl. I think the page might just be called Japanese, but it might also have a name. Let's see. Mako Garden is the name of it. And here it is. Since I'm going to Japan in May, I wanted to color this Japanese girl page. And I think I might color the flight attendant at the beginning, too, in May. I think that might be a fun one. But yeah, this page took me forever to do. It's very detailed. It's a little more detailed than what I would usually do. But here, I'll show you the... The simpler version was a little bit too simple for me. It kind of removed everything from the background. I think they could have done the temple back here close up and everything. So I did pick to do this one. And yes, it took me ages to do. I didn't think I was going to even finish it. But I'm very, very happy with how it turned out. So there is some glitter gel pen on her kimono and on the um, umbrella, the parasol, on the little flowers, and on the belt around her kimono. Some of these details are just too small, and that's my, that's my like coloring life hack for you, is when the details are too small, uh, use metallic gel pins. That works out a lot better. And then around the temple back here, the gold around it is also a metallic gel pin. You can see some in the flowers in her hair as well. So lots of gel pin on this one. And then there is some white paint for the ripples down here in the water in her pupils. And I have to commend Hannah Lynn for this because she has the kimono crossed over the right way. Uh, that is something people get wrong. If the kimono is crossed over the other way, that represents the dead. So that would mean this girl is dead. So she did it the right way. So she really did her research when she created these pages, you can tell. So I really do appreciate that. But yes, I am I am thrilled with how this turned out. It just took forever. Oh, you know what? There is some white gel pin on the belt around her kimono. Here too, there are like these little dots and I did those with white gel pin because there's no way I could do those with like an alcohol marker. They were just too small. And I think they're going to kind of even be, I'd have to hold it up, like a little bit hard to see even on camera because of how small they were. But yeah, thrilled with how this page turned out, but it took me forever. And I'm very slow with coloring Hannah Lynn's pages just because they are so detailed and they do take me forever. However, I do think the finished products are worth it. So... That is all my pages for this month. Kind of back to a more normal amount of pages, honestly. Uh, I did have way more free time. However, March, I don't, not March, uh, May, next month, May, I don't think is going to look so great since I will be going to Japan, spending over a week there. I'm not taking any coloring books with me or anything because I'm not going to be at the hotel that much. So we'll see how much coloring... I get done for May. It's probably going to be quite a bit less. However, when I get back, I do plan on trying to do a color and chat and talk about my experience in Japan and uh, maybe show you guys some of the things I buy over there if I buy a lot. I mean, they do have some really cool like craft stores and art stores that I want to go to. So you might be seeing a whole video that's kind of like semi coloring related. And I will try to get a color and chat done to yeah, talk about my experience over there. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this finished pages for April.